welcome back. Today I'm back with another tutorial. Um, today I'll be showing you how you can uh, plan on any device with uh, Canva. So you guys know I'm a big fan of Canva. So um, it's literally like the only thing I use right now. Um, I used to use a lot of professional design tools like Adobe. But Canva is just so convenient and time-saving that um, I really enjoy using. And so today I want to talk to you about um, planning on Canva. I thought this is a really cool way to do it. Um, it's completely free if you want it to be. Um, there is also a pro version which I'm using right now but it um, unlocks everything that you can use. There's a little bit of limitation with the free version and might, there might be like little less templates or stickers that you can use but either way you can plan start digital planning completely free with canva and i can show you how so the first thing to do um, is to create a presentation i like to use the presentation style um, templates because um, it fits the screen resolution for my ipad which is uh, four to three ratio. If you're using um, a tablet of a different size, you can create it on the custom size here to whatever dimensions you want, and it'll still work the same. And if you don't have an iPad or a ta tablet, or you want to use your phone or the computer, you can create any type of uh, dimensions you want. But today I'll be using um, the template that I would use for my iPad. So I'll, I'll just create a blank presentation and I'll just walk you through how it can be really simple to create your own planner look in here um, completely free and um, to your own liking. And I'll show you two ways. So I'll show you the first way, which is completely based on all of Canva's um, stickers that you can use. So they have a huge library here. Um, you can search anything you want up here to use as stickers. And um, they also have a lot of mock-ups if you want to use them as your background. So um, the first way is to use um, the elements that they have on Canva to create a planner look. And I'm doing this on the computer because it's just easier for me to search for things. But if you don't have a computer and you just have a tablet or an iPad, you can easily download this app onto your um, iPad or tablet to use. So first of all, you will need to um, search for a planner or a notebook. So there are different um, icons here that you can use as your notebook background and as your planner background. Um, I've already chosen one that I like, so um, I'll just go into my start. And I want to use this as my planner. So I already have my planner look, which is great. It looks realistic and everything. Um, if you want to add more pages in the future, you can like duplicate the pages like so. Um, and if you want to add a cover, you can also do that. Um, there's a cover here and you can add desktop elements to it if you want. Um, and the cool thing is this, um, platform syncs to your iPad or your tablet app so um, you can work from your computer or from your other devices pretty seamlessly and so here now that I've set this up I can either do like a bullet journal thing and add like weekly plan up here and then write the date today is the 11th
and you can even add like blocks in here so um, you can go into shapes and add in little boxes Oh, and if you don't want to move anything, you can always lock the background so you don't grab anything that you don't want to. And then you can just create your layout like that. So I'm just doing a little, like, really quick layout to show you what you can do with this. And you can always upload stickers that you find too. Let's see if they have any Monday stickers. And they do. So you can even add it like this. You can change the colors up here to whatever template you like. Say you want it to match the theme and then change it to kind of a mute tone. And then you can see all the other ones that are here for you to use. And I forgot to mention that if you don't want to do this manually, there's actually a button here that changes all the colors of the same color to the next color that you want. So I don't have to keep doing that manually. So now we have our weekly spread um, very easily made. Um, you can even search for things on here like planner trackers sometimes they have that and they do so you can even like add in um, a tracker up here for hydration and you can change the color of your tracker to brown if you want or whatever color it's just very um, simple way of making a spread and uh, there are tons of elements you can use say I don't want that and I want a note sticker and I can add this on here instead and change the colors to match everything looks very cohesive. So this is one method of doing um, a planner spread and then you can always duplicate it for your next week and change everything um, that you want on here. And then I'll show you a second method of doing this. If you don't want to create your own um, layout is you can also duplicate this page and just wipe this whole thing out and use templates that you get um, from Etsy shops. So I currently have one that I use and I like and this is available in my shop if you want. Um, and everything's just laid out for you and you can lock this so you don't drag any of the stuff with it. Um, and this is just a daily kind of journaling planning insert that I have and it's really great to use um, because it's it already has all the um, sections that you want in there and you can just plan as you normally would and just um, write it in with text and then add it in here and you can even add in like highlight elements like this if you want this is like my highlighter if you will and then you can circle things
like this. And then write in today's date. And then just do all your planning from here. Um, and then you can decorate it with stickers. And there's a simple daily spread um, that is very easy to create if that's something that you're into. And then you'll have this whole page for notes or to-do lists. So this is the second way of doing it and I can show you one more way to do it and I have freebies for this one. So I'll show you the third method that I was talking about and this is to add a PDF um, planner that you already have or have bought into Canva. So I have this free planner that you can download and use uh, as your own um, from my website so I will link the link below in the comments and you can download that for free and with this um, planner you will get like the full planner look um, and the templates that go in it um, and then you can just use Canva as a place to write things or um, add stickers to the layout so um, I'll show you how you can import a PDF. This is still a beta version for them. So there might be a little bit of glitches and stuff, um, but this is how you can upload it and use it as like an annotation app like you would with like GoodNotes or um, other uh, PDF apps that you might be using. So what you need to do is just upload. Um, this is the planner that that will be available for free on my website and once it's uploaded you can just just go in here and scroll through all the pages you can even see all the pages that are available here the only thing about this is you won't be able to use the hyperlinks on the side but you can um, just use the templates that I have for monthlies weeklies and dailies on here say for January um, I can paste in this calendar that I already have of all the dates from for January in here so I don't have to type it all out. Super handy to do this on the computer and then um, use your iPad or other devices for on the go. And then so I can just line these all up and even do this tidy up the numbers and there you have it and then I can use these other things to um, decorate, use the stickers in here to decorate um, my planner. And there you have it. There's a monthly layout that you can use and you can do the same for the other templates. I actually find using Canva pretty convenient for planning because um, everything works so much faster on a desktop sometimes and um, the navigation is way better than if I was on the app. I can search things easier and I get a bigger view of what is happening. So um, if this is something that you would like to try then um, I have a 30 day trial for Canva with all the um, elements unlocked um, so you can enjoy it to the fullest um, the link is below if you want to give it a try and I hope this helps you in um, your digital planning journey 
and I just want to show you guys how this looks like in Canva on an app so what you need to do is just go in open the app and go into the file and then um, the page that I decorated before is already synced up in the cloud so what you need to do is just scroll down and here you have your planner and if you want to edit it you just you can just zoom in and then add your text in here and then you can adjust the size of the font however you need to and it works just like um, if you had a PDF annotation app, you can plan on Canva. So thanks for watching my tutorial today and I'll see you next time. Bye!